here what is this black star st james okay first thing i'm noticing this is going to look amazing on stage that lit up black star logo i love that okay let's see what's going on this pattern this is so old school and i love that my signature was that british racing green that was cool this is really cool that's really cool okay enough chatting let's hear what this thing sounds like let me see <laughs> right away, it's got the anger factor. that's a clean channel. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down just a hair. See how it cleans up. We got some reverb. It's got some woof, baby. This thing sounds badass, dude. sounds so good. We were all the way up. Turn it all the way up. Gain. This amp has enough push where like uh, usually I'm searching for that extra edge. This has the extra edge. And I'm not blowing smoke, I seriously mean it. It has that extra punch and it's loud. It sounds awesome, dude, seriously. Like that tone right there is like so good. Bye. 
Sounds awesome. They react really, really well. And if anyone knows me, they know I'm more of like a P90 reaction. But playing this Les Paul, like, it already has that breath to it. It has a little bit more of an openness. And when I hit the notes, it's instant. And they bloom really nice. There's something about the bloom, especially on this. It, it's like the more you push it, it doesn't kind of feed into itself. It actually blooms out, which is really sick. Usually, an amp like this, you'd think it would just collapse. You know, you'd hit it, and it just kind of dump in. But this is, this is a badass amp. Let's see what this baby does. We're gonna do just like we did on this EL. It's got a nice smoothness, a nice, almost clean crispness to it. Especially at that lower volume. All right, let's turn that up. A little bit more of a modern clean, I think. Super wolfy. Okay, hold on, let's turn that a little bit down. really cool. I'd love to hear this on a big stage and just get that. It's got all that vintage wolf that I love, but it's super clear. It's got a lot of clarity. It's sick. Okay, we're moving on. Go to channel two. Let's see what channel two sounds like. Bites. It's got a bite, man. A lot of sustain. Yeah, a lot of sustain. I'm turning the gain all the way up. Yeah, and then there's a boost too. That's almost so crazy that there's even more than that.
Yeah. Well, one thing's for sure, you don't need any more overdrive with these amps. They, they pump, man. Yeah, straight into the amp using the, uh, just the channel selector and the voice. It's beautiful. These things kick ass. I think they each would have their own kind of voice in a, different applications, right? This amp feels really, really, really good if I was playing things that needed to have that more modern edge to it and more of a cut, but where my heart lies and, and that whole vintage-y kind of that old school vibe all day. Um, I feel like I could probably take that thing and go play any gig anywhere right now. It's that good. All right, check this out. Hold on. We're doing the, we're doing the test of all tests. Yeah. Yeah, this thing weighs nothing. Literally nothing. This is, this is lighter than the JJ20. Oh my goodness. I could put that in a backpack. It's that light. That's insane. Jeez. Is this legal? This is cool, man. That's fucking light.